Tonight, story is about Isaac, an impressionable young man eager to join a fraternity and expand his influence. However, his ambitions lead him to an experience beyond his expectations. Our chilling Harlem tale tonight is titled Hell Night. Join us as we unveil the eerie and unexpected in the heart of Harlem. I've been around long enough to know the true history of the Eternal Brotherhood, a fraternity that's been a cornerstone of old Harlem for centuries, stretching all the way back to the days of slavery. It's a past shrouded in mystery and darkness, one that few dare to speak of. This fraternity played a crucial role during those harrowing times, not in the way you'd expect, but in helping slaves disappear, vanish without a trace. To the outside world it seemed like a noble endeavour, a sanctuary for those fleeing the shackles of oppression. But the truth, as it often does, lurked beneath a much more sinister guise. We weren't just aiding those poor souls. We were ensuring our own survival, feeding our curse with the desperation and fear of those who sought refuge within our walls. With each soul that passed through, the fraternity grew stronger, its members bound tighter by the secrets we kept and the lives we consumed. It's a history written in whispers and blood, a legacy that's as much a part of Harlem's fabric as the very streets themselves. The Fraternity House, a towering structure crowned with Gothic spires and draped in ancient ivy, stands as a deceptive beacon in Harlem. It's an architectural marvel, echoing a time-long past, yet beneath its grand façade lies a core tainted by darkness, more sinister than the city's most perilous alleys. Its halls, rich with history, whisper tales of unspeakable deeds, each stone embedded in its walls a silent testament to the fraternity's true nature. We, the eternal members of this brotherhood, are bound not by mere fellowship, but by a pact that transcends the ages, a covenant carved in the shadows of immortality. Cursed to roam the earth as the undead, we don an unassuming guise. To the untrained eye, we are the upstanding citizens, the hidden pillars supporting the community. But behind this mask of respectability, we live as monsters, our true selves skillfully concealed in plain sight. Our existence is a paradox, embodying both the grace of the living and the curse of the undead, making the fraternity house not just a home, but a sanctuary for our kind. A haven where we shed our disguises and revel in our true, ghastly forms. Isaac was a standout from the get-go, a beacon of hope rising from the grit of the projects. He carried the weight of his family's expectations, being the first to stride through the hallowed gates of college education. His background was a tapestry of struggle and resilience, each thread woven from the harsh realities of life in the concrete jungle. His friends, who knew the streets as well as the lines on their hands, warned him against joining our fraternity. They sensed something off, something lurking beneath the surface. But Isaac, with the audacity of youth and the hunger to carve a new path, dismissed their concerns. His initiation into our brotherhood was nothing short of a trial by fire, a gruelling journey designed to shatter the strongest wills. We ushered him through a labyrinth of rituals, each more daunting than the last, enough to make even the boldest hearts falter. The echoing halls of the fraternity house became a resonating chamber for the fracturing of his spirit. Night after night I watched the transformation. The once bright gleam in Isaac's eyes grew dimmer, the eager smile that once danced on his lips fading into a creeping realisation of the grim fate that awaited him. The innocence he walked in with was slowly being eroded, replaced by a growing tide of horror as the true nature of our brotherhood began to dawn on him. Hell Night, the culmination of our dark rites, was a spectacle of terror, unlike any other. And Isaac, though prepared, was wholly unprepared for its true horror. He had braced himself for what he thought would be the ultimate test, but what awaited him was beyond the realms of his wildest nightmares. That night, the Fraternity House, a structure that usually stood with a sombre and dignified air, grotesquely morphed into a chamber of unspeakable horrors. Its walls, steeped in the history of our cursed brotherhood, seemed to ooze an inky darkness, casting elongated shadows that danced like spectres in the flickering candlelight. A putrid scent, 
the stench of decay. Final ritual, the crescendo of our macabre symphony, was a spectacle of ghastliness unmatched. We formed a circle around Isaac and his line brothers, a ring of decayed and twisted forms. Our chants, ancient and bone-chilling, rose in a frenetic crescendo, the sound reverberating off the old walls, filling the air with a palpable sense of impending doom. The young men, their faces etched with terror, had yet to fully comprehend that their initiation was, in fact, a march towards their own end, a sacrifice necessary to feed the voracious appetite of our cursed existence. Their screams, as they realized their fate, were music to my ears, a delicious harmony of terror and despair that echoed through the fraternity house, filling its age-old corridors with the sweet sound of their dread. As our circle tightened, the look of absolute horror in Isaac's eyes was a sight to savour. It was a look I had witnessed countless times over my endless years, a look that brought a twisted sense of pleasure amidst the loneliness of our eternal nightmare. Each new member drawn into our fold not only fortified our ranks, but also deepened the dark, insatiable void within my being. It's a paradox of existence I've come to relish. The thrill of the hunt and the catch, juxtaposed against the ever-growing shadow that envelops my soul. Now, as I weave this tale, the flavour of terror lingers delightfully on my tongue. Regret, however, is a luxury far beyond our damned reach. In the shadowy realm of the eternal brotherhood, the concept of mercy is as obsolete as the lives we once led. Each hell night serves as a stark reminder of the monstrous existence we embrace, skillfully cloaked under the guise of fraternity and age-old tradition. Isaac, once an outsider, is now forever entwined in our eternal fold. His transformation is complete, his past life a mere whisper in the howling winds of our brotherhood and our ranks are never closed. We are perpetually in search of fresh souls, new brothers to share in our endless night. The hunt is eternal, and the game is ever-changing, but the outcome remains the same. Another loss to the world, reborn into the darkness of the eternal brotherhood.